Memories of Cab 804 Part 1 is the 11th episode of the first season of Taxi. This is, of course, directed by the wonderful James Burroughs. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And I will say that there are some really great moments in this episode. However, unless Part 2 is start to finish perfection... This absolutely did not need to be this long. There are, are two main scenes that really go on for way longer than they needed to. And I will talk more about that in a moment. So I'm not, I'm not not looking forward to the next part, but I definitely feel like unless the next part is just complete perfection with no room for maneuver, they easily could have fit it into one part. But I will re reserve complete judgment until I get there. But the pacing here definitely did seem a little bit off. Unfortunately, John has crashed with cab 804. And apparently this is a cab that everybody loves. So they begin to reminisce about things that happened in that cab. And there are three parts to it, two which take longer than the first. The first one is Alex, meaning John, in the cab. It was quite brief. I quite liked it, though. And I thought that would be the length for each of the clips, give or take. But the second one was very, very funny. And then it went on for about two, maybe four minutes longer than it needed to. We have a gunfight. It was pretty amusing. And I don't want to go into too much detail. I know I said spoilers, but I won't give everything away. And actually, it was pretty funny. I thought it worked really well. And then they got the ticket. And I thought that was amusing. But then it went on and on and on. And it kind of weakened it. And really, not necessarily completely ruined it. But if they'd stopped at the ticket... And then maybe quickly resolve the problem. It would have been almost perfect. A really fun clip. But they dragged it out way longer than it needed to be. We easily could have put another person's story in there. A shorter story perhaps. Like we had with Alex's story. But they definitely didn't get that right. In my opinion at least. I think it went on way longer than it needed to. Louise was entertaining from start to finish. But I also think they could have maybe removed some of it and I will give an example of that in a moment again they could have made it a lot shorter we could have had another story in there unless part two offers something spectacular I really don't think it's necessary Louis is driving the cab which is pretty cool to see and he's driving this rich kid and this rich kid is handed six hundred dollars he's put in the back of the taxi he's supposed to be taking him to his his boarding school and Louis lets the kid drive which is not something they would show happening in a sitcom today. At least I don't believe so. At least not without any repercussions. And <laughs> when the kid sat in the driver's seat, he discarded Louis's pillow, suggesting that Louis is shorter than this kid, which I, I rather like. As somebody who is pretty much the same height as Louis. I actually think I'm two centimetres taller than Louis. But round about there, I understand the need to, to feel a little elevated. Maybe that's why I don't drive. Maybe that's why I feel uncomfortable behind the wheel of a car. Who knows? But either way, I thought it was pretty entertaining. And they have some bets. The kid offers Louis $100. Well, he bets him $100 by saying, I can say all 50 states in less than a minute. Honestly, I didn't see this coming. I genuinely thought the kid was going to name all 50 states. But Louis starts the timer and the kid says, all 50 states, and grabs the money. It's cheesy and a little bit ridiculous, but also very funny because I didn't see it coming. And they have some more bets. Again, I don't really think they needed to drag this out too much, but I did learn that the NY Knicks are actually called the NY Knickerbockers. I had no idea that that was their full name. Well, the New York Knickerbockers. So I learned something. That was pretty cool. And... I feel like after that point, everything that happened with the kid was, again, just a little bit slow. And I don't really think it needed to drag on as much as it did. Unless the next episode is so perfect that they needed to have two parts, but they didn't have enough material to fill two parts. So they stretched part one out. That could be the case. There are times in sitcoms where we have two parts and... One part is not enough, but two parts are too much. Too much time. 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. At the end, the car comes in and it's a, it's a wreck. And then it says to be continued. So I guess I'm looking forward to the next part. I'm certainly curious. I thought this was a good episode. I don't think it needed to be two parts based on this. I think I've said this 20 times, so I'll say it no more. I will reserve judgment until I watch the next part. But for now, I'm pleased to say that Memories of Cab 804 Part 1 was definitely not a bad episode. <laughs>